Hi guys, it is a lovely day. Here in the end times in paradise, well the former paradise of South Austin, Texas on this fine Sunday morning, December 24th, 2017, Christmas Eve 2017, so I got to uh, bring you my Christmas sermon of the year uh, here in a minute, but before I do, I just, I, I, this was just a humorous story that I heard last night that I, uh, that I thought I would share. You can decide what this has to do with the end of the, of the world. So I was over uh, at this small little picking party at my friend Washboard Judy's in uh, South Austin, Texas. I might have mentioned Sister Judy in a, in a former in several former anyway uh so judy she's a great tour, and so <coughs> we were sitting you know i was just getting updated about some of my uh some of our friends in common and what's going on with them in the name of my buddy we'll, we'll call him because uh, i don't want to because he's in the middle of some litigation in his life we're, we're going to call him fred and uh, <laughs> so this is what's going on in Fred's life. Uh, and he got, Fred is a, a Texas oil man. Believe it or not, I do have friends in the, uh, in, in the Texas oil industry. So he's a very small potatoes Texas oil guy. A really nice guy. A really nice guy, just a little bit confused about uh, his place on the planet. So anyway, uh, somehow... Fred's name come came up in, uh, in in conversation, and so this is what's going on with Fred. Uh, in, here in Texas, the the regulatory commission on the oil industry is is called the Texas Railroad Commission, and that's a whole nother rant. Why the Texas Railroad Commission regulates the oil industry uh, in Texas. Uh, I, I could go off on a whole separate rant. So anyway, my, my little small potatoes oil investor, uh, Fred, uh, you know, had some partners, apparently, uh, in his little small potatoes uh, oil business. And he and his partner got in this argument and apparently and I don't know who knows what the details are but apparently Fred was accusing his, his partner of just totally fucking something up uh, no telling what, what anyway so he and his partner get in a fight but somehow the the Texas Railroad Commission is 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 involved in this and so you know how you get on the phone with these goddamn bureaucrats, uh, whoever it is, the, these government agencies, uh, the, these goddamn cops, I can imagine dealing with the Texas Railroad Commission. So anyway, Fred, he's furious at his partner for causing all of this brouhaha that never needed to be caused, it gets stirring up all of this hornet's nest down in the Texas Railroad Commission, which is right down here in downtown Austin. Uh, it's a couple of miles from where I'm sitting. So anyway, he's all pissed off at his partner. He's not really pissed off at the Texas Railroad Commission. So he gets on his goddamn uh, smartphone, I'm sure, or so, you know, uh, and calls the Texas Railroad Commission uh, to, you know, to discuss this issue that he's pissed off at his partner and it gets into th this goddamn bureaucratic uh, red tape tangle from hell. You can imagine. And he's getting more and more pissed off. Uh, not so much He's, he's getting more and more pissed off at his partner. Not so much. He's pissed off at, at the situation developing at the Texas Railroad Commission, but he's not really directly pissed off at, at, the, uh, at the cop on the other end of the line. 
but anyway, the, uh, the conversation quickly escalates and he's getting more and more irritated. And so they're telling him that he has to come down there to the, to the damn uh, railroad commission and, and do all this shit. So he gets all pissed off and he says, fine, I'll just come down there. So anyway, he thinks that he has hung up his phone. He's all pissed off. He, he, you know how you get when you're talking to these fuckers. But he, who he's pissed off about is his partner. And you got to understand, Fred is, is an absolute sweetheart. He's about as violent as, as Sancho Panza. So anyway, he, he puts his phone down and he has this temper tantrum talking about his partner just going off on this screaming, you know, I ought to kill those motherfuckers and blah, blah, I need to go out there, you know, just talking like we do to vent. And so he's talking about uh, that, 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 that he's going to, uh, he needs to go kick some ass and kill those motherfuckers and all of this shit. And he's, while he's packing up his briefcase, all his goddamn papers and shit, getting dressed. So he, uh, he has this temper tantrum. I assume he grabs his phone, puts it in his pocket, and he goes, he goes down to the Texas uh, Railroad Commission uh, with his briefcase, gets out of his car, goes in the uh, Texas uh, Railroad Commission, and, and right when he punches, he walks up to the elevator, and he punches the button up there to the office of this of this bureaucrat. He had to go meet three fucking Travis County sheriffs are on his ass, taken down. He's hauled off to jail, and he is now charged with making terrorist threats against the Texas Railroad Commission because when he when he finished talking to the bureaucrat he did not hang up his phone so they heard so the so the 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 bureaucrat down in downtown austin heard every word about his temper tantrum uh, about going down there and, and killing those motherfuckers or whatever he was saying uh in, in his little temper tantrum and 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 he is looking at serious serious federal charges uh, of making uh, of making terrorist threats uh, against a government organization or something. I mean, the, the guy could be looking at some serious shit. And uh, I guess he's out on bail now. But, uh, you know, he's racking up legal bills and all of this shit. So, uh, all I can say is... Uh, as much as I like Fred, you know, I, I somehow <coughs> I just I just love to hear it when, when Texas oil men find themselves in this. But I do wish wish Fred luck. I mean, it, it's no, this is this is no joke, people. How it, it's this easy? It, it is this fucking easy that that your entire life. Uh, ju just how it can turn on a dime, how how you can make one. This wasn't even a mis well. I guess the mistake was not hanging up his fucking smartphone. But uh, Jesus, you know, I'm all, I'm only waiting. It's it's only going to be a matter of time, I'm sure, uh, before the men in black are, are wrestling Hambone Little Tail to the ground I uh, I actually went on the internet for the first time in my life and I will make this a future sermon where I uh, downloaded or whatever you call it uh, the Unabomber uh, Ted Kaczynski's Unabomber manifesto which I will read as part of a, a future sermon and I'm thinking oh shit Hambone now I have uh, uh, you better believe that uh, no telling who is aware of the fact 
that Hambone Little Tail, who is about as uh, who is about as violent as Sancho Panza uh, or Fred, uh, is 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 surfing the internet looking at the Unabomber manifesto, and uh, I just wonder what 2018 holds in store. But anyway, I just thought that was a humorous story. Not sure what the moral of the story is, but there's one in there somewhere that you better pay attention to as things get really weird on this planet. But with that, I'm going to wrap up this little story and uh, come back at you with my Christmas sermon from Brother Christopher Hitchens, who I've never had a sermon from, coming right up on this beautiful Christmas Eve in South Austin, Texas. Bye, guys.